So recently a question has been eating at me regarding the beautiful game that is Ultra Kill. And no, the question isn't how the hell am I supposed to P-rank every single level, the question is just how dateable is every single little husk demon in Ultra Kill, because of course that is a question I would ask myself, so with no more delay, let's get right into answering that question. <laughs> Before we start, you may question, how am I qualified to make these rankings? Well, I got a P rank at least once, and do you know what P rank stands for? It stands for P. So let's start off with the simplest of enemies, the Huss and their subtypes. The terminal defines Huss as physical manifestations of the souls of the damned that take form based off the value of that soul. So, our first enemy, Filth, is a clear reflection of a lack of value, with a clearly incomplete form and a description of low intellect and only being driven by hunger. So pros, this silly little husk will always be down for a nice dinner date, even in the middle of the day and even after already going on several dinner dates, as they are always down bad for that food. They are also, um, without arms, so they can't possibly hit you. Granted, they also can't do your taxes. And that's a huge negative for me. On the note of negatives, this silly boy has quite a few, such as those teeth being way too sharp. Uh, they, they try to give you a love bite and you'll end up as past tense. Also, they kind of don't look like they know what a shower is, and that is bad. Showers are important. So overall, filth out of 10. From there, we can move to a slightly cleaner looking enemy, the strays. These tall boys are secretly scared guys that will try and avoid danger if they can. They also have extremely low intellect, and finally, they can shoot orbs. So pros, they are afraid of danger, so you have a solid excuse to avoid roller coaster dates. That's a W in my book. Also, you can probably easily bully them with fake spiders in their dresser, and I like that. This dynamic is better made with them having a large presence, so it's kind of like having a scary cat teddy bear of a partner. Downsides, the fucking orb. It isn't said that it's controlled, you know, consciously, it's just made out of instinct. And I don't know how hard it is to deprogram an instinct to stop blasting all living things, but I honestly doubt it is easy. I would also doubt it would be great to be sleeping in your bed with your partner, and they blast you with pure hell essence. So, silent but deadly out of ten. The husks are not done yet, for they now produce schisms. Schisms are two souls trying to occupy the same space, producing a big old boy. These big old boys, much like the strays, have the ability to create hell orbs. So, once again, that is something to consider here. Pros, two is sometimes better than one. If you get bored doing the one soul in the body, you simply date the other one. Boom, what are they going to do, separate? Ha, unlikely. Also, uh, its bitter side means more for you to love, and that's always fun to see. Cons, it, its head is in the shoulder, so good luck maintaining eye contact. Uh, it ain't happening. Also, uh, what if the other soul randomly decides to date somebody else, or you two have like a dramatic breakup? That would be uh, quite awkward, so I, I wouldn't suggest that at all. Overall, strange love triangle out of 10. Well, if you play Ultra Kill, you like robots, I do too, but uh, I I'm gonna guess you might like doing interesting things with robots. Uh, okay, good for you, can't say the same myself, but I now present if robots and hearts fused, the soldier. This is essentially just an upgraded version of the earlier mentioned strays that now have machine gun parts that let them focus their abilities more, and they also have like more self-confidence. This increase in self-confidence means it's now a tall and aggressive type, so forget gentle giant and embrace calling this demon father. It also, um, still quite stupid, so I, I don't know, that to me that sounds like a dangerous mix, you know, dangerous, tall, and stupid. Uh, I ain't messing with that. So, pros, a more aggressive stray that will probably now bully you, so if you're into that, that's a pro. And an enhancement that may let it control its stupid little orbs, at least I hope. Uh, cons, it's still stupid as hell and will 100% bully you. So, my rating is big bully out of 10. Our next strange upgraded husk comes from the layer of greed, and has called many Ultra Kill fans pain. The stalker is certainly a weird one. It's gray, lanky humanoid with a backwards body, its entire body positioned to carry a heavy load. Wait, wait, I didn't mean it that way. No, 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 dirty mind. Ew, gross, gross. Into the pros and cons. Pros, it might be able to carry you around. 
it's it's strong ish at carrying shit so so maybe I, I don't know what the fuck the pros of this thing is and this thing looks awful cons it, it looks awful it turns your blood in the sand its head is on backwards which means no eye contact for you it has lung issues which <laughs> i live in america man health bills are not cheap and if honestly it's fashion it's not drip so zero out of ten from me on this husk now Let's say you're not interested in a small fry, instead want a bigger, stronger enemy. Don't you worry, Ultra Kill got you covered. And I now present the Sisyphusian, Sis, Sisyphian Insurrectionist. Long ago, these were husks that rebelled against heaven alongside King Sisyphus. They also killed countless demons in greed before finally being defeated by Gabriel. These Johns are strong, but heavily wounded as a result of the angel's retribution on them. So, pros. They are quite strong and are smarter than the average husk, with them long ago being considered smart enough by Sisyphus to join his cause. They are also veterans of long ago, having a dead malicious face in their grasp. So the pros of that being they can protect you against the other demons that dare approach you in this level of hell. Cons. Their only remaining hand may be, possibly, quite literally fused to a dead face. So, so no hugs, head pads, or anything like that from your tall muscular demon thing. Also, they already pledged their loyalty to Sisyphus, so don't expect them to be loyal to you with another man out of ten. To close out, we now have to consider the collector of coins himself. The man you meet when you cross the river Styx, the ferryman. This skeletal boy is a rare husk who holds an absolute faith in God, and thus has been blessed to hold the duty of being able to traverse between circles of hell. They wear the holy cloth as a symbol of their devotion, and hide their bodies using it as they hold that their human flesh is just a sign of the past sin, and they wish to be rid of it. So pros and cons of this church boy. Pros. Honestly, they're a pretty chill chap. They won't mess with you unless you mess with them or their god. They are quite agile, and some people like that. They are also pretty smart, and they are able, as they, we know this because they're able to upgrade their fairies, and that's pretty cool. They're mechanically inclined. So they are like a chilled out, badass, smart husk, and I, I kind of vibe with that. That's pretty cool. Downsides, they hate their own flesh and have pretty bad self-esteem in that regard. Also, no promises that they don't also hate your flesh since you're also in hell and that also represents your sin. So they are they are also um, quite literally a skeleton, a blue skeleton. And I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's a good thing. So overall, holy skeleton out of 10 would be my end rating. So that's all the huss in Ultra Kill and their date ability. Hopefully this will help you in your future plans of becoming a suave huss dater. You know, the, the icon of lust himself, or herself, or themselves. Or at least will help you plan in that regards. But for now, that's all I've got, and I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. Ciao!